And it's always the same. Always the same. Not the roast, man. I spent $25 on that roast. What are you doing? I spent $100 on that shit. $100 to make you happy, mom. Drug money. Drug money. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Williams here with another Breaking Bad, Season 4, Episode 10. Yo, we're gonna jump right back into this. Cut the damn music off. Let's get started, y'all. Jesse's going to cook meth for the cartel. And him and Walt don't fail the fuck out. I have confidence in Jesse. Even though he don't have confidence in himself, I have confidence in Jesse. Call me. Hey, mm -hmm. happy birthday, sweet 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, I thought you might sleep through it. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. So, since it's almost, oh, noon, I think your first big birthday decision is breakfast or lunch. Um, pancakes? Pancakes, it is. Oh, hey, um, could you do me a favor? I forgot to get the paper. Can you go out and grab it for me? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. I'm a PT Cruiser. Pretty slick, huh? Yeah. Th thanks, Mom. A it's, PT uh, Cruiser. It, it, it's great. You know, I really did a lot of research, and I, I don't know, this car just really stood out to me. It's, it's got I mean, a ton of great features, power everything. It's a car. Engine. It's really roomy, so you can, you know, carpool with all your friends. And, of course, it is safe, because I am still your mother. I mean, uh, oh, and it has a, a CD I wish it was a so Chevy and Paula with rims so on it. You know what? Breakfast can wait. You want to take it 
you for a spin? Um, maybe later. I, I'm kind of starving. Mr. Beneke, Saul Goodman. What? Thank you for coming down. Yeah, hi. Have a seat, please. I, uh... I don't really understand why I'm here. Is this something to do what with my creditors? What in the holy Credit? hell? No, uh... I'll cut right to the chase. Uh, Mr. Beneke, I have some bad news. Uh, nothing but lately. Your great aunt Birgit passed away. I'm sorry, who? Uh, well, apparently she uh, passed away in Dykirk, Luxembourg, and this was, uh, wow, eight years ago. I just assumed you two were close, given that, uh... Oh, I don't know of any, um, relatives in Luxembourg. Definitely no one who would name me in their will. Huh. Oh, well, here you go. She, uh, she left no will, so that's probably why it took so long. They traced the inheritance through to your father, but his having passed, my condolences, you are the next in line to the tune of ¿Cuándo llegó Dan Eladio? Vamos a ver cómo va la cocinada primero. ¿Es el químico? Mr. Es una broma. Es una broma. Es una broma. Bueno, pues, okay. ya nos conocemos, ¿no? We all have met. A trabajar. Let's get to work. You can do it, Jesse. You can do it. ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the problem? I get my anesthetic acid from the barrel with the B on it. That's how I know how to do it. God damn. El señor Pinkman pensaba que el ácido fenilacético ya estaría sintetizado para cuando él llegara. Basta. Un estudiante de segundo año de química puede hacerlo. ¿Qué clase de aficionado nos has traído? What's he saying? I'm working it out. Eso es ridículo. No voy a permitir con mocoso que ni siquiera puede sintetizar ácido final acético. Me enseñe mi negocio. Tell this asshole if he wants to learn how to make my products, he's got to do it my way. The right way. I speak English. So you understand what asshole means. Now go get me my final acetic acid. Asshole. How long is it going to take you to get him what he needs? Jesse, you're not in Kansas anymore. I have no idea. Several hours at least. I can wait. Gives us time to talk about the state of this lab. Don't you have standards? I mean, this place is disgusting. All right, we're going to scour every vat, every tank, every cook surface. And then we're going to clean up every possible source of contamination. And only then we cook. Comprende? Okay, Jesse! Who do you think you are? I'm the guy your boss brought here to show you how it's done. Oh and if this is how you run your lab? No wonder. You're lucky he hasn't fired your ass. Now, if you don't want that to happen, I suggest you stop whining like a little bitch and do what I say. Jesse motherfucking Pinkman! Limpien. Limpien. Motherfucker! Oh, Gus love that shit. He got a fucking boner. This shit right here was so fucking hard. He got a little more respect for Jesse now. Him and Mike. 
There you go. That's how you man the fuck up. That's how you man the fuck up. Against all odds. Against the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Stand the fuck up. Rise the fuck up. Fuck everybody. Bitch. Checking on his old man. God damn, this shit bleeding through the damn cover. That shit is bleeding through the fucking cover. Whoa. You in bad shape, cuz. Oh my god! Jesse put his ass on fucking bed rest and painkillers. Man, you should have been bobbing and weaving. What happened? What kind of lie he gonna come up with? I got into a fight. What do you mean a fight? Like, what fight? Are you gonna talk to me here? What are you doing? I'm calling mom. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I don't want to hear her fucking mouth right now. Do not call your mother. Why not? Because. Guys, he got enough fucking headaches. You don't see all those goddamn you. knots on his head? You tell your mother. God, I just swear. I would never, never. You're in danger, mother. danger. So. You in danger. The only danger I seen was fucking Jesse Pinkman. Walt. I don't understand. Jesse was How the one that knocked. With who? Oh my God. Oh my God. I made a mistake. Oh my God. Oh shit. It's man, okay. pull yourself together, man. It's all my fault. Pull yourself together, man. You can come out this shit. Pull yourself together. What the fuck Walter White crying on this bitch? I'm sorry. Man, pull yourself together, cuz. God damn, man. You don't kill motherfuckers. Dad, it's okay. I'm, I'm, oh my God. It's okay. Come on. Please. It's, it's okay. Give me. Give me. I want to skip this part so bad. I really want to skip this part. Jesse don't okay. turn this motherfucker into a crybaby. Sure. It just hit me. I, that I, was I, all I, a deflect. He wasn't really crying. He was it, trying to deflect from his son asking questions and going through all the rabbit hole shit. He's smart. He wasn't really crying. For a minute there, I was about to get a little pissed. For a minute. Everybody watching. Everybody watching, Jesse. All the underdogs watching. Everybody watching. Yes. yes. Well done. First of many. Yeah? What's that mean? You're staying. You belong to the cartel now. 
Wow. I love Jesse. But he should have listened to Walt. He should have listened to Walt. I know he was pissed. But he should have listened to Walt. If he would have dropped the fucking poison in the suit. Now, he belonged to the quartel. Gus playing all the fucking long. That's what his fucking plan was. That's why he told the cartel, yes, that he would meet because he was going to give up Jesse. So he's going to keep Walt. But I thought the whole plan was to get Jesse up to Walt's level, then knock off Walt. So he made the deal with the cartel to give up Jesse so they can cook blue meth. That motherfucking Gus. Jesse, you feeling real stupid right now, cuz. I got love for you. I got mad love for you, but... That fucking Gus is slick as a can of all. Just like his fucking hair. I don't even have none, but my bald head is slick. Well, I uh, went ahead and met with your Mr. Benneke... Right, and which I will say again, loudly and for the record, bad idea. Yes, but it is better than prison, correct? Marginally, which is why I dispersed the funds as you requested. All right, good. Yeah, can't believe you actually bought it. Great Aunt Burgett. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you called it. I mean, I guess people see those zeros dance before their eyes. It's kind of like highway hypnosis. All right, so what's the problem? Well, let's just say you and I don't wear the same rose-colored glasses where uh, Johnny Fabulous is concerned, so I kept an eye on his bank accounts and I pulled his credit report. If you would, note the time on that. 3.54 p.m. yesterday. Three hours after leaving my office. He bought a Mercedes SL 550. He's actually leasing it. But he put 4500 down. He's going to pay 1830 a month. And fully loaded. I mean, he even got the heated steering wheel. But that's upwards of 6300 That won't be going to the IRS. I just thought you might like to know, loathe as I am to say, I told you so. Oh, man. You want something? Yes, baby, I want it. What you want? I, I find you do the two of us. How much? Classic. Classic. Fuck boy. Classic. A real man handle his fucking debts. Okay? This is this is who she chose to cheat on what with. Oh, oh my God! Oh, classic man, fucking classic. Where is he now? Come on, man. Get your ass up. Yep. He's still there. Walt Jr. love his daddy. Got you a good boy there, Walt. Got you a good boy. How you doing? I wish I could take back last night. It was your birthday. This shouldn't be on your mind. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm your father. And I, I don't want last night to be... I mean, you, you really... You can't think of me like... Like what? I don't understand. Am 
My father died when I was six. You knew that, right? My mom, she puts me on her lap. She's sitting on the bed next to him so I can get a good look at him. Yeah. But really, he just scares me. And he's looking right at me. But I can't even be sure that he knows who I am. Your grandmother is talking, trying to be cheerful, you know, as she does. But the only thing I could remember is him breathing. Ah, oh, this, this rattling sound, like if you were shaking an empty spray paint can. Like there was nothing in him. Anyway. That is the only real memory that I have of my father. I don't want you to think of me the way I was last night. I don't want that to be the memory you have of me when I'm gone. Remembering you that way... Well, wouldn't be so bad. The bad way to remember you would be the way... the way you've been this whole last year. Wow. At least last night, you were... you were real, you know? Wow. That's some deep shit. Hi. That was some deep shit. What the fuck? Somewhere you should be. Um, yeah, thanks, Tanya. Okay, you bet. Say hi to the kids for me. Hey. Nice surprise. What's up? I mm, just thought I'd swing by, see how things are going. Well, things are, um, <laughs> things took a turn. It's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah? I think the universe is trying to tell me something. I, I got some good news, some very good news, and, um, get the business going again. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I figure we haven't been down long, so we should be able to get most of our old contracts back. It's down. Oh, thank you. That's... What a fuck, boy. Um, gosh, that's, uh... That's wow. <laughs> How is that even possible? Well, I got a very unexpected cash infusion. Huh. Guess someone's looking out for me. I guess so. Um, is that yours? Outside? Oh, <laughs> you know, can't be driving a piece I don't of crap feel sorry for him. He's got to present that successful image. Yeah. I do not feel sorry so for So the IRS stuff, that's resolved? Yeah, it's in progress. So you paid them? Well, not yet, but I will. When? Never. Well, it's not that simple. Never. Um, never. Thing, I never had proper legal counsel. So I was thinking I should hire someone good and maybe hammer out a better deal. There will never be a better deal, Ted. The deal is you pay your back taxes, you pay your penalty, and you don't go to prison. That's a good deal. So let's keep our priorities straight here, right? Well, my priority is getting my business back, and putting my employees back on the payroll so they can uh, pay their mortgages. Right. But I think your employees would agree that you need to get your financial situation in control before you can help them. Boy, I rescued you on commission? No, I'm just saying that though I really do, I understand the temptation to restart the business. Maybe the universe is telling you that 
you need to pay what you owe. Skylar, um, this is my money. I'm... Your money. Why are we having this conversation? And you're no longer a part of my life. A decision you made, by the way. So I, I don't understand why you're hectoring me about this. Ted, this affects both of us. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you, you need to drop you this. You need to <laughs> use that money to pay your bill. By the end of this month, which you promised the IRS in writing that you would do, it is that simple. Walt okay. cleaning up his mess and Scott are trying to clean up her mess. Okay, duly noted. What does that mean? Does that mean yes? Because I really need a yes here, Ted. All right, Scott, I'll tell you what it means. It means, in the most respectful way possible, there's the door. And I'm inviting you to, uh, you know, and thank you for your concern, but I'm done talking about this. If she take one of those books and hit him in the head with it, boy, I'll fall out. From whom exactly do you think you got that 600000 Ted? Great Aunt Birgit. That was you? Yeah, you fuck motherfucker. I swear to God, both of these motherfuckers are so fucking annoying. Both of them. Both of them, man. Skylar, fuck her boss. To get back at Walt. She too dingy as hell to see who she dealing with. A fucking clown ass fuck boy. That can't even manage his own fucking bills and responsibilities. <laughs> now he's in debt. Skylar go pays his bills with some bullshit relative. He goes and start blowing the money on cars and shit. Oh my God. So many people defending Skylar. So many of y'all. <laughs> oh, Ted need to go buy another fucking car. Get a BMW. What the fuck is that? What the fuck he just took? I don't get a vote. I'm supposed to just stay down. He's staring at that water, probably thinking about I promise his you partner. This. Either we're all going home and none of us are. Now settle down. That goddamn Mike is a what straight shooter. There go my boy! Manny! Manny! They got my boy! And all Gus have is Mike. And Jesse. Man. But he got a fucking Mike. He got a fucking mini face guy. That's all he needs. I'm so happy you finally came to your senses. Le presento. Yeah, I present the cook. This is your new employer. You address him as Don Hilario. Don Hilario. That's a fucking legend, Jesse. That's a fucking legend you... You talking to? Oh, si. No. Y no es ningún químico. Se lo digo yo. A mí no me importa si es criador de cerdos. Es cocina la metanfetamina. Mejor que tú. He can cook better milk than you. That's right, bitch. Con todos los títulos universitarios y sofisticados. Y este 
Va Your fancy college degrees. Para you have plenty no? of time to learn Spanish. Bueno, vamos a ver. A ver Let's see what's in there. No, impossible. No, impossible. Zafiro Añejo. Zafiro Enebla. Miren, it, hasta la botella es una obra de arte. The bottles of work es perfección. Quizás demasiado one. bueno para compartirla. ¿Qué piensas Good tú, Gabo? Sí, yo parece <laughs> lo que usted prefiera. Ajá. Prefiero to, beberlo. To drink. <laughs> bueno, vamos muchachos. Ándale pues. Cuidado muchachos. Eso es algo magnífico. Si llegas stuff. una gota, te corto la mano. <laughs> vamos, ándale pues. Come on, hurry up. Gustavo. Da. Welcome to Mexico. Mexico. Now, welcome to say, Mexico. Muchas gracias a usted. Señor. Gra gracias. Don Eladio, ese es un adicto. Para trabajar, tiene que estar sobrio. He must work sober. Entonces, nada para ti. Oh. <laughs> Entonces, what the fuck you say? Nothing for you, Jesse. Oh, he's smart. You drink first. Smart. Smart. Salud. Smart motherfucker. Ah. If everybody knew that shit, don't drink shit unless you see somebody else drinking first. Gustavo, yo no estoy enojado contigo. Solo tenía que darte esa paliza. I had to spank Pero, ¿qué opción tenía? Well, what, a, what choice did I have? Una vez en cada 20 años, Once every 20 years, se te olvida tu puesto. You forget your place. Wow. No hay lugar aquí. There's no place for most para las emociones. Tú, más que nadie, debías entenderlo. Los negocios son los business. Con permiso. ¿A dónde vas? A usar a la Si me lo permite. Miguel. Fierro. Muéstrale dónde está el meadero. Y asegúrate que no se te pierda. Sure he doesn't get lost. <laughs> he gonna sit in that big motherfucker. If he run, he ain't pues. gonna be able to catch his ass. You sit the wrong motherfucker, dude. <laughs> This is so fucking great. Man, good. Gus can juke the shit out of his ass. The fuck is he doing? What are you doing? Finna take a shit? What are you doing? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> What the fuck is What the fuck? What the fuck is Holy shit.
Make yourself useful. Find a gun. I don't even know where to start. Let me give a big shout out to the writers of this show. I don't know where y'all came from. I don't know what type of mindset y'all was in when y'all wrote this show. But thank you. Thank you. I wish like hell y'all was involved with the ending of Game of Thrones. Whoever the writers are, I wish like hell that y'all was involved in the ending of Game of Thrones. Because y'all motherfuckers are on another fucking level of writers. Y'all are fucking gods. So when Gus was taking those pills at the pool, he knew the poison was in the drink. And that's why he stopped Jesse from drinking. Man, it can't catch a fucking break. He died again. Once again, y'all, my mind is fucking blown. My mind is fucking blown. That motherfucking Gus is a fucking mastermind. He's a fucking master. He just took out the fucking head fucking done. 